give me fever. You gotta give me fever. You gotta give me fever. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So my name is Stephanie and I talk about all things lifestyle. Today's topic is going to be an interesting one because it is close to heart simply because I recently went through the Lavola process. It's a topic that I feel needs to be discussed because being the first generation Zambian in the UK, I do feel like most of us younger ones um, are being faced with two different sides in the sense that we are being brought up in the UK culture however we still have our own culture from back in Zambia therefore the question is do we continue adhering to our Zambian culture or do we just do away with them I believe that we should continue going ahead with our cultures and traditions because that is what we identify with that is what makes us Zambians if we stop doing that the, the culture and the traditions is just gonna die and we will not be able to connect with back home because we have done away with what we should what we should be identifying with in the first place so one of those traditions or cultures that we have always done in Zambia from from what I remember uh, is the lavola so lavola is some form of dowry or bride price which is paid by the groom or groom's family to the bride's family and this is meant to be a token of, of appreciation for or to show gratitude to the bride's family for them bringing up a beautiful woman that she, but that the guy wants to marry so some would say okay isn't that your family selling you away but I don't see it that way because I believe it should be a token of appreciation and others would also say why doesn't the bride also pay something to the to the groom's family because they've equally raised a son however I really don't have enough facts to oppose to that however i will speak from what i understand and why we have been doing this process and why i believe that we should continue doing it our cultures and traditions is what makes us zambians no matter where you are you will always be zambian at heart and you should be proud of it because that's what makes you you look at the Nigerians they are so proud of their culture look at the Kenyans they are so proud of their culture so why shouldn't we be proud of our culture as Zambians as well I decided to just continue with the Lavola process because I fully understand why it is done in the first place and this is why I wanted to share this with everybody because there are some people that might not understand the whole significance of the bride being the bride's family being granted monetary gifts. Now I do understand that, especially in Zambia I believe, some families are now charging extortionate prices and that shouldn't be the case because it looks like some families just want to benefit from their daughters and make it like a business transaction. The whole point of Lawola is to show, is for it to be a token of appreciation. So it should never be extortionately priced because that would now look like you're selling your daughter i do believe that down the line the message has just been distorted however this is why it's good to talk about this so that we remind ourselves of, of why we should continue adhering to traditions and cultures or customs like lavola itself on the lavola day the two families come together and that's a great opportunity for everybody to get to know each other and that way both families are merging into one. In the Zambian culture we believe that you are marrying into his family and vice versa. Therefore that's a great opportunity for everybody to come together and get to know each other besides the negotiations themselves. Another thing I would say is that back in the days it was not monetary it was not money related I think the exchange was normally in livestock or or crops or something of a sort however 
we can't do that now because nobody can bring cows to my parents house in exchange for me because what are they gonna do with the cows in that case we have now resorted to using the monetary gifts instead of livestock so where does this lovola go after it's been given to your parents so the lovola is not just for your mom and dad because in our culture we believe that it takes a whole village to raise a child and that money is then redistributed to the extended family however in my situation because my fiance is gambian i realize that in their culture it's done differently the money actually goes to the bride and when i tried to explain this to my parents they just they just said oh okay we we get that that's what they do but we're gonna do it our way <laughs> and there was no two ways about it also if you are marrying somebody that's non-Zambian, I think it is worth having the chat before actually going into that process. Try and discuss from each other's point of views why you actually want to go ahead with the Lavola process. From my experience, he didn't really understand the monetary part of it because he had googled and realized that some people charge a whole lot of money when it comes to lovola and i had to explain that yes there are there are some cases where the lovola is absolutely extortionately high however it all depends on the family so you could say that to some extent that might have freaked him out a bit because he'll be like oh my gosh how much are they going to charge me and that also put some pressure on me because then I had to have a chat with my parents to say okay let us not start charging him extortionately because this is not what we are about and all that but my dad had to put me in my place and say oh we know what we're doing and we do not need your advice on this missy so you go sit over there and <laughs> And that's how I just left the whole situation into God's hands and into my parents' hands because I trust them and I trust that they do everything for my, in my best interest. So I trusted them to handle the whole thing in a way that uh, both of us or both parties will be happy with the outcome. On the day itself, the bride the bride is not that much involved. In fact, she is not part of the Lovola process itself or negotiations, should I say. So on the day itself, the groom comes with his male representatives from his family and then they meet up with the bride's family. In my case, it was just my mom and dad and my brother and then he came with his uncle and they had their negotiation and after an hour or two they were done with that and we had a meal together and that was that chapter closed now the question would be would i continue would that would i do the same for my kids i feel like with them growing up here it might be different but then i can't really say what i would do in the future because you just never know however i will still tell them about the culture and let them know this is what we did but if they don't want to do it then they don't want to do it another culture or tradition that we do as zambians is the kitchen party so this is more like a traditional wedding or so but it's a celebration and this is a celebration that your mom throws you or your grandma or your auntie throws throws you just to celebrate you and to help you start up your kitchen now this can be a bit sexist because it's it's a uh, what's the word it's sort of like re-emphasizing that a woman's place is in the kitchen however i feel like it's one of those things where it all depends what you what you believe in but for me having grown up in zambia i understand the importance of being able to take care of my family because I'm the one that will be mothering I'm the one that will be holding the house together and this is where the kitchen party comes in because 
you are going to be given gifts to help you start your kitchen. Now, I do understand that there are some people that opt not to have a kitchen party and that's totally understandable. As for me, in my case, I have gone about i have gone ahead with wanting to have one simply because i want my mom to have that opportunity to be able to celebrate me to be able to give me a way in hand to give to give me a way into marriage and yeah just to celebrate with the rest of our mothers because we in 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 the city where i live we are a community and the mothers know each other and that's just an opportunity for everybody to celebrate together because like I mentioned before it takes a village to be, to raise a child and that's one way that the mothers get to celebrate the, their daughter okay so just to sum up everything um, the most important question is should we continue to adhere to the Zambian traditions and cultures even though we're not in the UK I believe that we should continue spreading this culture and passing it on to future generations because it all starts with us and if we don't continue to do this it's just gonna die eventually and nobody will ever remember what we as Zambians should identify with because I believe our cultures and norms and traditions is what identifies us as Zambians and the rich culture that we have is something that we should be proud of. I am definitely one person who is proud to be Zambian. I am proud of our cultures and traditions even though there are some that I question but I am still proud of who I am and my identity as a Zambian. So I hope you found this video helpful. Just let me know in the comments below whether you believe in Lavola, whether you'd go ahead with doing the Lavola process itself and what are your thoughts on having kitchen parties? Would you have one or would you not have one? And don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and click that notification bell because it will notify you as soon as I have a new video up. Until then, I'll see you in my next video.